movements around the room. Okay. So once you're done with that, that's really the second phase of the warm-up. And then you'll move on to the body of the lesson, which is about personal space and general space. So as it says here, personal space is the space that is very close to you. If you imagine this person in the hula hoop, um, really kind of an oval, but uh, that it would be your personal space. Um, and uh, general space is the space that's further away from you. So standing outside of that hula hoop. Um, general space is very important these days uh, with um, social distancing. Distancing. So if you can imagine two large hula hoops uh, next to each other, that would probably be about the six feet that um, health officials have uh, suggested we stay away from people to uh, help keep us safe. So um, anyway, personal space and general space. An activity is going to look just like that. So your first one is to be doing making a table over personal space. And the next one is going to be making a tunnel over personal space. You can alternate between those two. Um, three or four times a piece would be great. And then you're going to do some, um, some non-locomotor movements and some balances in, in personal space where the first one is placing three body parts in or on your personal space and have one in general space. The next one is two body parts in or on your personal space and have two in general space. And the last one, kind of a challenge, going to take some thinking, but placing four body parts in or on your personal space and having one in general space. And you can alternate between these and, um, and choose different poses and different balances throughout um, your lesson. Okay, and then you get to the foot and hand tornado, the little videos of this little girl um, who's uh, just a kindergartner, but she's doing the foot and hand tornado. So the foot tornado is putting your hands in personal space or on the pillow in this point. And you'll see in the video, the girl goes around her personal space with her feet in general space. And then the hand tornado is just the opposite, where you put your feet in personal space and you go around in general space on your hands take your time you might stumble it's not a big deal try to go two or three times in one direction and two or three times in the other direction and then lastly is a game called musical hoops all right um, first i want you to try to name as many locomotor movements as possible um, i'll give you the first three like run walk and jog so what other kind of locomotive movements do we use? Moving from one place to another using your feet. And then if someone can play some music for you, when the music starts, you choose a movement and move around the room in general space. So when the music stops, get back into your personal space. When you're in personal space, think about or say out loud the next locomotive movement you're going to practice when the music starts and you're back in general space. You can do this on your own or with a family member or hopefully mom or dad is around to help guide you through this musical hoops part of the lesson. And when you're done, you can continue and go back and play mouse chaps again if you want. Um, whatever you want to do, it is totally up to you if you're, if you're um, done before the actual gym time. All right, so thank you uh, for your understanding today. Sorry for the uh, change, but I uh, hope everyone has, a, has had a great time, and I will definitely see you on Tuesday.